Hi guys, welcome to this episode of Kung Fu Report, where we talk about classical Kung Fu and its application. Today I want to talk a little bit about the spreading hands that you find in Hakka Fist, relating to Long Fist. It's based on short power and it's very practical from a defensive and offensive point of view. Alright guys, see you when we get back. Chris, sir, please come in. So in the last episode, actually, um, when Chris hits, right? We're doing like, from here, if Chris hits again, you can use the short power from the long fist, right? The spreading idea. Today, what I'm gonna to talk about is this actually exists in Hakka fist. Really good against grab. So, uh, hold on a second, let me grab a jacket, so. All right, so, this idea of the spreading hands can be done in many ways. When it, if the guy grabs, but actually let me show the movement first, maybe. So you can go here, spread this way, or spread low, right? This idea of spreading across can be used to attack, can be used against the defense. If Chris swings, for example, instead of just blocking out as I usually do, you can use a spreading engine which cuts across really well. That gives you quite a bit of power in a shorter frame. Even my hands here, it gives you a lot of power going this way without having to use a lot of forward stepping, even if you're leaning back this way, right? Chris, coming hard, coming harder. Okay. See how I'm leaning back, it doesn't matter because you're using the ribs to spread up. They can also be used against the back fist if the guy comes in, so he's spreading this way. So if you swing really hard, Chris, if I try to take it this way, it'll knock me back. But if I spread it out a little bit like this, you can just cut across quite easily and get into the inner gate, right? It can also be used as an attack if Chris comes again. If I spread this way, it can be used against the throat or in the rib area. The finnick eye fist is pretty good for that. The guy grabs, he can also use for a spread this way. He comes in, if I come up, it's hard to stop him because he's stronger than me. But if I use this spreading idea, you can easily cut this way. And as you spread out, it comes back in. The in and out. So when I come back in, oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be careful with this because it snaps back this way. Or if you swing, it snaps back this way. It can also be done in trapping if you hear, instead of coming through this way, or coming through this way, you can spread underneath. And now, this works well against a big guy. So you guys are that blue some, see? Now, coming this way. And when you come back this way, if he swings again, you can actually use to take the throat. Or if he punches straight, when you spread this way, when you take, try not to fall, Chris. You, it's hard to resist that because you're going right underneath this way. Right. So he's really, really sneaky, or if he comes across this way, you go here, look, and you back up. So it's all in one movement. When we get back, we'll talk a bit more about this. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Basically, the reason why I'm showing this today is trying to get the point across from the last episode, which is short power in the West is usually framed as something forward, right? Like the inch punch, for example. But actually, short power can be done up and down, left and right, and diagonal. Basically taken from weaponry. If you look at the sabers, especially the spear work and also the pole work, it also shows us that you can do short power in all directions, right? Maybe in the future I'll do an episode on horizontal short power. Today I just want to get the horizontal across. So it's not just about having short power in a direct straight line, but you can use it offensively and defensively on a horizontal line. If you're interested in this kind of cross training, today we did some stuff from Hakka Fist, and also we do Wing Chun and Long Fist, you can go to adamchainkungfu.com and it's in the full immersion program. All right guys, train hard and stay safe. See you next time.